This was the first time the American and Ukrainian presidents have met in person. Their meeting on the sidelines of the United Nations planned well before Tuesday's announcement by House Democrats that they'll begin formal impeachment proceedings against Donald Trump. That decision triggered in part by a phone call Trump had back in July with his Ukrainian counterpart Volodymyr Zelensky. On Wednesday, the White House released a partial transcript of that call. In it, Trump asked Zelensky for, quote, a favor to investigate former U.S. Vice President Joe Biden's son, who had served on the board of a Ukrainian energy company. Joe Biden is running for president against Trump. Trump admits he made the request, but denies it was connected to Washington's pending defense aid package for Kiev. Still, it seems whatever was said during that phone call was enough to prompt an intelligence whistleblower to ring the alarm over the summer. That complaint finally delivered to lawmakers on Wednesday. I fully support transparency on the so-called whistleblower information, even though it was supposedly secondhand information, but also insist on transparency from Joe Biden and his son, Hunter. Additionally, I demand transparency from Democrats who went to Ukraine and attempted to force the new president, who I met and is an outstanding person who just met. They threatened him if he didn't do things. House Democrats say their actions were lawful. Trump's, they insist, weren't. That a president of the United States would interfere with our national security, would interfere with the national security of our ally, and do so for the illicit purpose of trying to advance his election campaign, having already sought foreign help in his first presidential campaign, would now abuse the power of his office yet again, this time to seek the help of another nation in his presidential campaign is the most fundamental betrayal of his oath of office. This is a political proceeding. Therefore, uh, there's no threshold for anybody to meet in terms of uh, a legal standard. The, the, the president doesn't really have to come up with any proof that he did something or didn't do something. And the Democrats really don't have to ha have, a, have any proof that says, beyond a reasonable doubt, the president did uh, what he did. All they have to do is convince the American people, right? And that's the big point here. But that could be an uphill battle. Before this week's announcement, poll after poll showed the majority of Americans oppose impeaching the president. Even the Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi had said she had preferred to defeat Trump at the ballot box. Well, clearly she changed her mind, and Democrats are betting the American people will as well. Rowie Ruttenberg, CGTN in Washington.